Hey guys, uh, so I'm going over my 462 uh, pawn shop find. So finding a few things, I got it cheap, finding a few things that uh, that are wrong with it and doing some proper maintenance and fixing it. Um, so far, let me show you what I got here. So I bought a new clutch. Um, I meant to buy a new, I don't know what it's called, but um, still won't give me a diagram blow up to where I can find these parts or get the proper names for them. So I have to so far, like again, I'm learning these saws. I'm having to depend on uh, a dealer, which is fine, but I want to know these things. So let me show you what I got here. I'll just take you through it. So first, I got the clutch off. Pretty easy. So see this purple thing? There's a cover. This guy. I took that off, and that's what it looks like behind it. It's not too dirty. I mean, I expected it to be worse. Um, the dealer put it on the dyno and, and ran it. And he said it had very low hours, approximately 60, 65 hours. But the saw has been uh, probably dropped or something. So there's my new clutch drum. I changed this out. So let's get to that. First, let's go to this. See this little buffer? I hope I did that right. Again, I don't know. I, I can't find anything to show me what this stuff is. Uh, I'll look at YouTube a little further. It's a sweet, quick swap, but I feel like there's some more parts that it needs, like a cap or something. So behind the, I noticed the, uh, after watching a Gordy on West Coast Saws working on a 660, 661 or something, talking about putting the drum back on and lining it up with this guy. Mine's broke right there. See that? Uh, my dealer was supposed to order that for me. I guess he forgot. Um, so I'm going to try to find one of these tomorrow or have one ordered. So what do you think, guys? It looked pretty rough in there. So apparently the guy, the chain slipped off, and it kind of damaged this cover. It wasn't bad. I could have cleaned it up, but I want it to look good. So the cover, you know, covers that purple, that spring, and, and uh, all that. The uh, I guess that's part of the brake, brake spring or something like that. So... That looks pretty good, but you can see this, see this damage? It's not impeding anything. I may file it down, take a Dremel, and buff it out. Uh, moving forward, this guy, stabilizer, shock, whatever it's called. Again, still won't give me a, I can't find names for it. I probably haven't searched enough. See the hole? It's wallowed out. Um, and this guy's stripped. So I'm probably gonna have to find a, a four wrap handle, which is what I'd like to put on it anyway. Unless I can find a cheap handle somewhere, but I'm not paying 50 bucks for a handle. I'll just pay 120 or whatever it is for a four wrap. Uh, what else? Got to do one of these. I'm going to get some West Coast dogs if I decide to move forward with this saw. Um, some other things. So it's going down here, looking around. You can see the guy was pretty rough on the saw. Um, I don't really mind that as long as it's not busted or leaking. Right here. See that crack? That kind of sucks. So, and I think I'm missing a bushing or something in there. Hopefully somebody can tell me. I'm, again, I'm gonna keep digging into it, see what I can find, but I may be, be able to get a guy to weld that for me just to keep it from splitting some more. I don't know, may not need it. So far, that's all I found on this saw. Um, it's been $170 on parts today. Uh, well, that was $30 for um, him to hook it up to a dyno. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Again, I was I was happy that the saw had uh, low running, you know, hours. I may end up getting the West Coast cover too. So, all right, 